Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you back to Wrestle Square Rage. And tonight we are going to see a singles match between the Wrestle Square veteran Zoro and Speedy will be going up against him. And it's the very first time Speedy is facing Zoro inside this squared circle. And since the return, Zoro did only one match in Wrestle Square in a triple threat match. And today it's his second match in three months. Zoro took like one and a half year break from pro wrestling due to the personal issues. But now he's back and today we will see if he's still good or he goes down on the mat like this. Just like Speedy did it. And now both wrestlers locking up the horns and a beautiful uppercut by Zoro and drop to a hold. And putting Speedy into the leg lock. And if I talk about Zoro, Zoro captured all the championships right here in Brussels Square, including Cruiserweight, Tag Team, Intercontinental Championship. And he holds about five year experience in professional wrestling. And now, looking at the speed of Speedy right now, taking the control of this match, beautifully coming into the arm lock. And Zoro reversing that move. Oh, that is an illegal, illegal move by Zoro. Showing the dark side. And now, waiting for, oh, hard strikes on the back and chest of Speedy. Being delivered by Zoro. Oh, and now a head bug. And Speedy looks out. Oh, but talking about Speedy. Oh, what a beautiful missile drop kick. The second missile drop kick. And it's time for a northern light suplex, which might he might have learned from Zoro only, but Zoro countering this move and try to deliver a power slam, but nowhere home. And a wheelbarrow, oh, stunner, what a beautiful wheelbarrow stunner by Speedy. And it's his finishing move, and now he is frustrated because he was supposed to take the pinfall here, but Zoro went out, saved his himself from this uh, from the pin. And now Speedy going outside. After Zoro. And going back inside the ring. Sounds and looks like a piece of pie for Speedy, but this is the this is the mind game which was played by Zoro. He went outside when Speedy was about to take the pinfall and when the Speedy came inside he kicked out at just one and a half. And now Speedy going for the leg and taking him into the waist lock and Zoro reverses it quickly and Speedy again going for a waist Oh! Illegally Zoro did a low blow and referee is giving warning because it was not a cleanly done low blow but it was a kind of low blow and now Speedy looks into the pain and taking the advantage going for a huge suplex on inside this wrestling ring one two Speedy kicked out at two and Zoro looks like a bit frustrated I don't know what is the reason maybe he is embarrassed to take a beating from a Speedy which he is facing for the first time because Speedy was able to deliver his finisher before Zoro can do and now Zoro is climbing on the top for delivering his 20 and oh oh my god missed out clearly and Speedy going for the jackknife cover he took the pinfall and won this match oh my god Zoro is in huge shock that a new guy of Russell Square defeated him in a single match and like that Speedy is trying to show his sportsmanship raising up Zoro and and still he is cheering and Zoro looks 
really frustrated at this moment and now he is taking the revenge attacking the leg of speedy with the basement drop kick and now just hitting elbow after elbow on the right leg of speedy and speedy is in huge pain and now look at this the referee referee is also going down in a sleeper hold and oh my god we have never seen zoro in such character before and looks like he is going to destroy speedy tonight oh my god and again he is going for the leg and locking his leg into the strap and speedy is right now suffering into the pain and here comes eklavia trying to save his mate and zoro looks totally frustrated after being defeated in this singles match against the speedy and this is the turning point where we might see a new face of zoro inside this ring and we i thank you for being with me and we will see you next time in brussel square rage do comment and subscribe our channel and click notify icon three months I've been waiting for three months not a single match this company wants me to believe that i'm not good enough for this show rage and not just the management even the rookies i've seen the look in their eyes the lack of respect they all think they are better than me i am the only grand slam champion in this company's history but does that matter the spotlight is always going to be on skyler maximbrisky it's always team curfew everybody else and then me i should be a global mega star by now but i'm wrestling speedy and speaking of speedy even speedy has started cheating in his matches now the utter pathetic lack of sportsmanship out there all because of the influence of team curfew everything that is wrong with this company everything that is wrong with this world is because of people like team curfew team curfew needs to go and since that is never going to happen that just leaves me with one option only i quit